In this training video, we're going to look at using data validation and data validation lists. So we want to enter product information in column E and purchase information with the customer in column F. So we've got the information about our customers and then in column B of the products and customers worksheet. And we've got information on the products in column A on the same worksheet. So we're going to try and then use these this information to produce two separate lists, one for products and one for purchaser. So to do this, I'm going to highlight, in this case, just the data range from E2 to E21. If this was a huge, data, a huge spreadsheet where the information is going to go on and on, you can highlight the whole column. But in this example, I'm just going to highlight this particular range. So on the data tab, we can use a feature called data validation. And under the settings, we can use a list. There's all kinds of options. When you use the list, it says, where's your source data? So our source data is on the products and customers worksheet. So in this example, I want to use the products. And I can put an error message in. So if anyone inserts a wrong product that doesn't choose in a list, I can say product must be chosen from list. So I'll stop them and I'll just say input error. Product must be selected from list. Click OK. And now just test it. So I can start entering products now. So I can say baseballs, the first product. Come down, choose another one. So we can see what it's doing. If I type in a product that doesn't exist, let's say tennis nets. You can only choose from the list. So it's stopping you entering data which is not valid. So this is that, that's why they call it data validation. So anything that's not valid, it won't allow. So I'm gonna cancel that. And then just repeat the process for the next one. So I'm going to highlight the area that I'm going to apply the validation to. Data tab, the validation, data validation, settings, list in this example. Sources coming from products and customers. Then selected the list. Error alert, I'm going to stop for input error. Customer must be selected from list and just test one or two of them. Let's leave a couple of blank rows. Now, if I typed in one that didn't exist, I could say golf world. It says no that doesn't exist so again it's a way of validating all your information for your customers your products so only the only the correct information can be selected and I cancel this example and this completes the training video on data validation and in this example data validation lists using lists of information where we got from a separate worksheet in this particular example but this completes the training video on data validation lists. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.